Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we are introducing our Google Maps add-on for our WP Event Manager. To know about our Google Maps add-on and its pricing and features, you can always visit our official website that's wp-eventmanager.com. And if you navigate to our add-ons page, in here you will see all the other add-ons listed alongside with the Google Maps add-on. If we go inside this page over here, you will see the pricing availability for our Google Maps add-on. So we have two type of license, one personal and one developer. Developer license does come with some benefits as well. So Google Maps add-on doesn't require any dependency add-on or other plugins to work in the website. So you can just purchase this. So you can just purchase and install this add-on to get Google Map functionalities with your event listing website. In this page, we have all the feature rundown over here and a link to our knowledge base to explore and for documentation as well. So let me give you a little rundown of our all features we have listed over here. So we have even proximity search, proximity search query, distance unit and short by drop down menu, results on Google map, Google address autocomplete, Google map at single event page, all event short code and Google map styling wizard. So what this first few features over here means is when we installed the Google Maps add-on and configured it correctly. So when you have selected and radius, our add-on will show available events nearby or within that radius. You can even filter those events using the basic filters we have or you can filter them by distance unit or sortability as well. And in the meantime, you will also be able to see the available events within that radius or regarding your search query or the filter you have used in the Google map itself in real time, right? Google address autocomplete. So our Google maps add-on, it will suggest you addresses based on Google's API on the location field, on the filter, on the event submission form in the backend or at the front end as well. So wherever you have a location field related to WP event manager, our Google Maps add-on will suggest an auto complete for that field. Then we have Google Map at single event page. It will show the events location on our Google Map in the single event details page with a marker. Then we have all event map shortcode. So if you take this shortcode and paste it into a page that can be new or existing page, it will show all the available events in the website in that Google Maps as well. Then our Google Maps add-on supports styling or theming. So using Google Maps Styling Wizard, you can create your unique distinct styling and then you can copy that JSON file and use it on our Google Maps add-on to get your desired styling for Google Map on the website. As always, at the back end, you will be able to tweak Google Maps general settings, search form settings and single page setting as well. So enough talk, let's go back to our WP event dashboard to install this add -in. Here we can go to plugins, then click on add new. From here we will choose upload plugin, then choose file. From here we wanna select the plugin package. So that's event manager Google Maps 1.8.3. Let's click on install now. Then we can click on activate plugin. So it will take us to the install plugin page. From here, next we need to activate the license for our WP Event Manager Google Maps. So what we can do, we can go to our Event Manager, into license. So in here we have all the other licenses for all the other add-ons we have. From here we can deactivate or reactivate other licenses as well. So let me paste my license key for Google Maps as of now. So now we can click on activate license. So we have successfully activated the license for our Google Maps add-on. So this is our WP Event Manager's Google add-on. That's how you install and activate license for it. So this Google Maps add-on, it extends our WP Event Manager functionalities in such way. User has an interactive map in the website. It may be the event listing page, maybe the event details page. They can now even filter events using some map parameters as well. So it makes a little bit more sophisticated experience for the as an event listing website. So come along for the ride in this series. Next, we will talk about how to set up this plugin, how to set up the Google Maps API. We will show you how different settings works for our Google Maps add-on and how to modify them as well. 
being that's it i'm shalat signing off thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one